Hi guys, today we are going to be playing the meta game. This is my boyfriend Alex. So, this game, it's one box and seven games. So I want to play the think-alike game, and I have no idea what that means. Yeah, if you're thinking, what is the meta game? I don't know. We have no idea. <laughs> we just bought this at Target. <laughs> That's all. The unboxing <laughs> of the metagame. Set up. Sit down next to your partner. Okay, good. Part We've done that part so much. You have to show that we're partners. Sit down next to your partner. Once you've tried out a few of the official metagames, we invite you to break some rules or make up new ones. Cool. Nice. Metagame, sponsor us. <laughs> this game sponsored by metagame. Not yet, but it will be. <laughs> so meta. Best enjoyed by a blank year old. Say, Ten. No. Uh, We're a terrible team. Seventeen. To cater to our audience. My audience. I say I don't have seventeen-year-old girls. <laughs> That's not my audience. <laughs> Just enjoy it, Mom. Son. Hello. <laughs> That's my audience. Mom. Forty. Forty. <laughs> then deal two culture cards face up below the opinion card. At this point, no talking with your partner. No talking. Shh. Each team member silently picks which culture card is best for the opinion card. So <laughs> one of them is a porta potty, the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Okay. Each team member silently picks which culture card is best for the opinion card. So Sistine Chapel one. is one. The card to the right is two. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Set? Go. Come on. Oh, I know. They think that porta potties are gross. That's what I know. That's what I thought at first. Yeah, especially but then I was teens. Like, but then I was like, teens don't appreciate the Sistine Chapel more than they'll do. like porta potties. They'll like be <laughs> grossed out. You're right. Some if teens would a... like see the Sistine Chapel and be like, oh my goodness. You're right. If I was a teen, I'd like the Sistine Chapel. Sistine Chapel. I don't know. You might, you might like uh, porta potties more. No, I don't. Only if you have a shiwi. Thank you, Amanda and Lindsay, for the mugs. Oh, they're both. Oh, it's you guys. <laughs> this video sponsored by Alex's <laughs> sisters. <laughs> Makes you think of the color brown. Makes you think of the color brown. And then we have the Vietnam Veterans Memorial or Walmart. One and two. Ready? Pick three. Kay. Set. Go. Easy. Walmart. Poop stories <laughs> yeah, galore. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Chris. Do we, so we win. So we advance. We, next round, deal three culture cards. Oh, yes. so it gets progressively harder. Yeah. I understand now. <laughs> I'm like, what? You just do it five times? Okay. Voted most likely to. I'm gonna pick my favorite senior superlative, and that is voted most likely to become a superhero. Pong, the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum. This one might be hard. <laughs> the American flag. Letting it touch the ground is a patriotic faux pas. Burning it is still legal. I thought it was illegal to burn the flag. It's just frowned upon. <laughs> just like dating your Let's students. find out. First, <laughs> designed in 1777. <laughs> That's a friend's reference. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Oh, that was a good Dude, come on! Captain America! Oh, Is that even a question? That's too easy. Why'd you pick Pong? Because <laughs> it's a classic. <laughs> Is Pac-Man a superhero? Yes. <laughs> you saved Back to zero. Okay, it's okay. Discard all the cards you use. Does it say it's okay? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, baby, that was so encouraging. <laughs> it's okay. Sink now. I think we're gonna think like that. Nice right. So three again. And I'll. Oh, we don't one. go back to zero? No. Oh, that's excellent. It says use the same number. Okay. Because then each time you do well, you get more. Unsafe at any speed. <laughs> the Nike swoosh. <laughs> Facebook. The rainbow flag. Okay, unsafe. So, you, so you might think initially, you'd be like unsafe at any speed. So immediately you think, what's unsafe fast? But what is unsafe? That's just barely moving. Okay, ready, set, go. <laughs> <laughs> nice, three five. I feel bad about that because that's it's almost like a commentary saying like any progress of the rainbow flag is bad. 
But it's because this is an actual physical object. It's something that actually progresses. Yeah. In my case, well, we Facebook doesn't matter. Facebook is a Facebook at any an speed will be matter. fine. Yeah. The Nike swoosh is just a logo, but the only one that makes sense is a rainbow flag. It's the only object. So even it's if it's moving thing. slow, it could like ruin your life. If you're like in a car and it slowly moves, and you just like bash into a rainbow flag. Just like a yeah, <laughs> like a gay pride parade is going. <laughs> it's really slow. Like a really slow, like a bunch of really old. Or like a People. light speed gay parade, yeah. and then you're it's just I, blocking all kinds of traffic. <laughs> there are two kinds. There's one where it's just like really elderly um, gay people and also gay allies, and then the other is just like a bunch of, bunch of awesome gay people in like really fast cars. That are on speed. Or like rockets. Yeah. On speed. They're on speed. That sounds terribly dangerous and bad for traffic yeah. either way. Unsafe, certainly. So now we get four cards. Good job. Best dress. Right? Doc Martens, eight eye boots. <laughs> the Berlin Wall. Ray Ban, Wayfarers. Oh, no. These are really good. Oh no. Doc Martens and Wayfarers. <gasps> Both so trendy. And the mustache. And the last one, like, didn't even apply to the last culture. Okay. Dude, I'm ready. Gonna, okay. One, two, three, four. This way. Yes, I agree. Ready? Ready? Set? Go. Dude. I almost did. Dude. We even talked about how much we like Ray-Ban Wayfarers. I know, I really like them. The mustache? Okay, so here's the deal. Okay. Not always best dressed. You're right. Lumberjack? Pretty stylish. Is villain? My dad? Pretty stylish. Wait, did you, you make a better case? Who's a not best dressed person with a mustache? Um, pedophiles and porn stars. Ooh, nailed it. <laughs> Nobody's on style when they wear Wayfarers. <laughs> Uh, pedophiles this and <laughs> this evidence that our society is all screwed up. Poor bodies. Number one, <laughs> the Wonder Bra. Ooh. Number two, the Great Wall of China. Levi's 501 jeans. <sighs> Tattoos. Ooh, these are pretty good. Evidence that our society that is, our society all, is screwed all screwed up. up. Oh. Okay, I'm ready. <sighs> the suspense, oh dude. All right. No, I don't know. Ready? I'm not ready. <laughs> Hold on. I got, I, you're undecided. I gotta beat things to you. You, beam you like do Morse code with I'm your eyes. I'm beating it. I know. Like, <laughs> like, I'm like maybe. telling you the number over here. <laughs> yeah. Dude, oh, I oh yes. I, no, I got it. I got I it. it to yes. You. Ready, set, go. Thank you. I knew it. Chris, that was for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like... The Wonder Bra, obviously not. Jeans, obviously not. Tattoos is debatable, but we're not on that side no, of the No, I love tattoos. Yeah, so those are cool. Cheers to tattoos. This episode is sponsored by tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best video I've ever made. The Great Wall of China was all about the Mongolians trying to invade China, so they just built a wall to keep them out. Right. That's pretty bad, considering all these other things. You're absolutely right. All these things are great. I was gonna say the Wonder Bra just because For fun. you're like, no, because then <gasps> it's not our Constricting women? No. That men are gonna be like, oh dang, look at those titties. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this out. And then, like, <laughs> they get so naked and her boobs are way smaller than you thought. So the Wonder Bra is not even bad. Right. Like, yeah. That's a plague on society. It's all screwed up. I can't even see the real size of her boobs. Five. Yeah, my turn. One, two, three. Tastes four. like a Taco Bell crunch wrap. <laughs> we love You're like speaking Taco of which, Bell. let's uh, pause this video. I'm awesome. Go get some Taco yeah, we Bell. Go get some. This episode is sponsored by <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> we should get some Taco Bell. Okay, tastes like Number a Taco one, Bell crunch wrap. The little black dress. Number two, Jello. <laughs> Number three, Prozac. <laughs> The cure for the common life. Oh, oh that's terrible. God. Uh, number four, the White House. And number five, Disneyland. Tastes like a Taco Bell. I do like crunch the, the Jello one. A fun dessert extracted from boiled bones, connective tissues, and other animal products. <laughs> Ew. That's disgusting. It is gross. Throw some fruit in there, you'll forget about it. Okay, so okay. which of these tastes like a Taco Bell crunch I'm ready. Bell? 
Me too. Ready, set, go. Prozac? <laughs> That's so Cause funny. Because if you're on Prozac, you're probably going <laughs> to talk about Red Trap. <laughs> yeah. See, because I was like, <sighs> Disneyland is more like funnel cake and fries. To but also, <laughs> to, to Prozac. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by Prozac. <laughs> Disneyland, there's probably a Taco Bell in there. There is not. I was at Disneyland in the last <laughs> couple I was years. severely disappointed. <laughs> yeah. There were no crunch wraps. And if there were, they'd be intensely overpriced. <laughs> okay, alright. Alright, get Prozac ready. was a pretty good one. I probably should change. Back to five? Is that right? Yeah. And we still... Not back to. I mean, I think the reason this is going fine is because there should only be one stack. You're right. Yeah. There's definitely only supposed to be one stack. Yeah, so we've gone through, we each had seven. Oh, we screwed up. So we just lost on that last round. Yeah. 